we will, we will be free! For when the rising tide has turned in every London quarter, Parliament comes crashing down with Boris Rules of Order! Okay, March the 2nd. All right, March the 2nd. Although it is preferable to divide a question when it is first introduced, a motion to divide can be made at any time, colon, when an amendment which it is proposed to divide is immediately pending, when the motion to postpone indefinitely is immediately pending, when the main motion is immediately pending, or all of the above are correct. Read those, two. okay, read it off again one more time. Make sure I understand what, what they're asking there. Okay. Although it is preferable yes. to divide a question yes. when it is first introduced, yes. a motion to divide can be made at any time, colon, A, when an amendment which it is proposed to divide is immediately pending, B, when the motion to postpone indefinitely is immediately pending, C, when the main motion is immediately pending, or D, all of the above. Okay, it is not a motion to postpone indefinitely, so that eliminates C and D by definition. So what was, well, excuse me, take a bad room, so B and D is not a thing. Read me A again. When, amen, when an amendment which it is proposed to divide mm -hmm. is immediately pending. Don't ask me. Have you tried again? Yes, look, is there someone else I can talk to? Because I don't understand that either. The kids are you, yay! You can you, you'll be able to look through at the answer. I'm not trying to no, see no, no, the no, answer. You're cheating. I'm not trying to you're see cheating. the answer. You're cheating. You're cheating. That's what this is about? You think I'm cheating on you? No. <laughs> <laughs> you get. I'll read it again. Somebody's got somebody's a little bit a little bit high strung today. <laughs> I'll read it again. It doesn't make sense even with the tenth reading. I'm just letting you know. We'll when an amendment yes. which it is proposed to divide is immediately pending. I didn't get that. An amendment to divide? It doesn't make any sense. No, that doesn't make any sense. I don't know the A motion is. to divide makes sense. <laughs> a motion to, to be... To, right. W yes. Um, it doesn't... Okay, well, look, I'll, I'll hide the answer. You can That's make. fine. Okay. Although it's preferred to divide a question when it's first introduced, right? Okay, a motion to divide... Can we, okay, fine. When an amendment which it is proposed... No, that was worse somehow. See, that doesn't even make any sense. I know, sense. I told you, it doesn't make any sense. That's just why I was confused about it. Why the divide is merely pending. Well, if we, no, that doesn't make any sense because if a motion to divide is made when a motion, when an amendment I think to propose to divide is already pending, you've already moved to divide it. I think what it's trying to say is there was an amendment made and that's what you want to divide rather than the main motion. Oh. Well, that's what I think it's trying to say. If that's what they're trying to say, it's very poorly said. Yeah, but I, that's the only way I can understand that. Um, I'm going to say, uh, well, I know C is correct because you can always divide when the motion, make the motion mm -hmm. divide if the, if the main motion is immediately pending because most of the time that's when it happened right. in the first place. So I'm sticking with C. See? Okay. Let's see. Now you can show me the damn answer! <laughs> It's D. And I would have been confused too because when the motion to postpone, so when a motion to postpone is pending, you can then move to divide? That doesn't make any freaking sense whatsoever. So motion to divide has precedence over a motion to postpone indefinitely? Sub okay, postpone indefinitely is a subsidiary, subsidiary motion. Does it require a second? Yes. Debatable? Yes. Mm -hmm. Amendable? No. And re majority required for adoption may reconsider affirm any affirmative only. Well, if it's not amendable, right? 
How in the hell can you make an, a proposal to divide? Well, it's I, I, which is an amendment by definition. Well, I, I I'm assuming that the motion to divide is is it's an independent motion that just takes precedence over it. Um, like a table would, like like motion to table would. Me motion to. Do. So well, let's look at where it says to go. Division of a question is incidental. Requires a second, is debatable, is not debatable, is amendable, yes. Takes a most, takes a majority. Now we consider. Okay, 271, okay. 19 through 24. This, is, this one does not make a lot of sense, at, the, at least at the moment. And your thing said a motion to postpone indefinitely is debatable? That's, um... Is it always no, debatable? No, it is not debatable. Postpone definitely is not debatable. Or excuse me, it's debatable but not amendable. Excuse me. Is it always debatable? I thought it was only debatable if the question it was looking to postpone was debatable. It's... But that's another thing. All right, 271. What number? Line number? 19? Mm-hmm. Okay. Which is... So, um, 19 through 24, I want to... Although it is preferable to divide a question when it's first introduced, a motion to divide can be made at any time that the main motion, an amendment which it is proposed to divide, or the motion to postpone indefinitely is immediately pending even after the previous question has been ordered. So it takes precedence. Yeah, look, no, go back up to number 11, line 11. The incidental motion for division of a question takes precedence over the main motion and over the subsidiary motion to postpone indefinitely. Okay, so, so that's why. It's a precedence issue. It's a precedence issue. issue. Okay, because if it wasn't a precedence, it wouldn't make any sense. Right. But I have a question, though, on that postpone indefinitely yeah, uh, on yeah. your little card there. Where, where is that located? Oh, here's postpone definitely. Where's postpone indefinitely? Postpone indefinitely is like way in the hell back at about one, uh, 127. Because I thought it was debatable only sometimes. Is debatable. And unlike the case of any other subsidiary motion. It can go to the merits. Debate on the motion to postpone it can go, can go fully into the merits of the main question. Okay. I did. Maybe I'm getting confused with postpone definitely. So I'm going to that one, which is on 179. Hang on. Where'd my card go? That's not it. Looking for debatability of that. It's debatable, but it can't go into the merits of the main question. So that's a difference. Okay, postpone to a certain time definitely is debatable and amendable, yes. And that makes sense because if you want to postpone to a certain time, but you want to then decide to change it to a different time, you so need to be able to amend what it. what motions are there that aren't debatable if the motion to which they adhere is not debatable? You, you know what I'm saying? No. Say it again. W there are certain motions that are normally debatable, yeah. but they're not debatable if the motion that they're adhering to isn't debatable. Um, amend, I think, qualifies for that, because it says, yes, at, yes, star, is debatable if applied to a debatable motion. Okay, but I thought that also applied um, to postponement, but... I guess not. It, motion to reconsider is debatable if applied to a debatable motion. That's what I'm thinking about. Okay, because we did because this came up in the last platform committee, and we did have a motion to reconsider. Yeah. All righty. Should we order these cards? I, mean, I got nice those kit. big ass ones over there. I got a spark chart. Yeah, it's different. <laughs> All righty. Well, I guess that's it for then the second. And again, we learned stuff that. A motion to divide. I would never think that would take precedence over. If it wasn't for the precedence, it wouldn't because, right. except for the precedence, it doesn't make any sense to try to uh, move to divide a question when you're when the move, when when you're trying to put. Well, right. Yeah, because you can't divide a postpone indefinitely by definition. Right. Because how are you going to divide that? Right. So it has to apply back to the original right. motion. Because the only way it can make any sense. Yeah, and then you decide to divide it. And then the person who had wanted to postpone indefinitely might decide, well, they only want to postpone part of it. Which raises a question then. If the postponing indefinitely is pending, 
on a question, mm -hmm. okay? And then you turn around and you make a motion to divide the question, mm -hmm. okay? And they div now the and the division passes. The division passes. To which part does the postpone indefinitely then apply to? I think it disposes of the motion to post as moot. It might. And would have to be made again. It, that's a good, you see what I'm saying? That's a good yeah. question. Yeah. Uh, that's the only answer I could think of. It would have to be made again. Mm -hmm. And separately, if the person wanted to postpone both parts or yeah. however. Yeah. Right. I mean, that, that's getting out, getting out in the weeds, but it raises a mm -hmm. question. Because, you know, if they wanted to post, but because they didn't like one part of it, but then the solution was to divide it. Yeah, they might be fine with resolving part of it. But not all of it. Right. But then you would the, it would have to go to moot, because otherwise right. you're faced with the option of, otherwise it applies to both cases, which negates the whole idea of dividing the question in the first place. In a way, but... Well, if they both pass. Okay, wait, go back to postpone indefinitely. I wonder if it answers that. Postpone indefinitely. Well, when you, okay, well, if the division passes, then you have two new main motions. So I would think it would be moot and have to be reapplied to, to either or both of the two mm -hmm. new main motions. Because when you divide, you essentially have two motions. Right. Exactly, which is raises the question of does the pending previous still apply to where? There's no mention. Yeah. I but I I would So say it's left it's out there dangling for all oblivion and you gotta deal with it somehow. I, I I think logically speaking it would become a mood issue. Yeah. But they don't address because it. Because the main motion to which it applied no longer exists. Yeah, it's been it's been split in two. Right. So so if the main motion no longer exists, then the, then, uh, the postponement definitely becomes a moot. Right. Right. So therefore, it, that that so for someone who's running a meeting on this and this happens, they need to be aware that if you have a motion to postpone indefinitely on a main motion, and then you do, while that's pending, you, do, you move to divide the question, which takes priority, and that passes, postpone definitely becomes moot because you can't postpone definitely the main motion. It would have to be remade. Because it would be split, it would have to be remade to apply to the individual pieces. Right. So that's a lesson for today. That is the lesson for today. Keep a scorecard. Was that me or was that you? Uh, that, was a sun that was a Sunday and I was an even, which meant... Even is me. No, excuse me, it wasn't it was a, a Monday. Monday and it was it's even. even as me. So, okay. so you're right. So. Adjourn. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> Your turn. Burp. <laughs> Fever! Let's hear the opposition side Like a stubborn donkey's bray All opposed? You say nay! Opposed! Opposed! The motion carries anyway!